Hey, Peace Boxing World, thanks for pressing play on another Bite Down Boxing video. I'm the host of the Bite Down Boxing Podcast, Wood. Uh, just a word up later on, to, or heads up, later on today, be sure to check out www.leftjaballnightboxing.com to uh, <clears throat> listen to or download this week's podcast. I have two world-ranked two world ranked uh, fighters on there as guests. Uh, that'll be Sonny Fredrickson, who has his debut um, fight on DAZN, April 27th. That's on the uh, Nonito Donair and Tete, Zolani Tete, and uh, Pro Grade Relic undercard. Uh, he dropped an interesting bit of news on there of what's really possible with that fight. He does have an opponent name that's not on box rec at the minute, but he does have an opponent. And there's another interesting twist in that card. Uh, but I check out the interview and get the get the details on it. And then also, <clears throat> friend of the show, Bantamweight, uh, IBF four, number four ranked uh, Bantamweight, Joshua Don't Blink Greer Jr. is also on the show. Talking about some top ranked things and then uh, as well as um, when we'll see him again. And then getting into Crawford and Khan, kind of breaking that down. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Some of this, some of the reporting out here about what Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing should do, and the opponent that they should get, the replacement that they should get for Big Baby Jarrell Miller, is laughable. Um, I'm, you know, just because you don't respect Eddie Hearn or you don't like him. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean that he has to be a complete idiot. They would be, under no circumstances would you go and pick a guy like uh, Luis Ortiz. I mean, come on. He's Southpaw. He's a veteran. Uh, you were, you were, tra you were uh, training and getting prepared for a completely different opponent in Jarrell Baby Miller. And now to please people who don't even root for you, who don't even care for you, who don't even like you, you know, who have no... Nothing vested in you whatsoever. You would go out here and try to make a fight with Luis Ortiz for what? To prove what? Like you don't. If you're, if that's what you're out here running with today, you don't. You obviously don't understand the big picture. Uh, you know the the big plan, which is to get us to the uh, the Wilder and um, the Wilder and Joshua fight, hopefully. So it's just laughable. Um, I mean, and I don't even know if it would be a good deal at um uh, at Ortiz's age, coming off of uh, the fight, you know, not too long ago with uh, Christian Hammer, um, being an older guy, you know, maybe he needs, maybe for his that type of opportunity, maybe he needs a full camp, you know, maybe it wouldn't even be fair to him, but that's a to my in my opinion, that's a, a bigger fight. I mean, you would want to do it on a bigger scale, probably. Um, I, I just don't even know how we would suggest that. And and this this fight was meant to be an introduction of Joshua to the U.S. market, to U.S. fight fans. So that that just seems that that seems foolish to me. Um, like I said, I, and I get into this a little bit on the podcast that'll, that'll be dropping later on tonight. But this would be the same people, the same person now screaming for just fight Luis Ortiz or you need to fight Luis Ortiz. This would be the same people that if, if Joshua lost and then he came back and got two victories after that. And then wanted to fight, uh, wanted to get into negotiations to fight uh, Deontay Wilder. This would be the same people yelling. You can't. You don't do. You don't deserve a fight because you lost to Ortiz, or you know it, it. It would be held against him somehow, and it it would be no consideration would be given to the to the circumstances un, to under which that uh, that loss occurred. No one would say, well, you know, he took him on five weeks notice, you know, and he was southpaw, blah blah. Would even it would just be Joshua doesn't deserve X Y Z. That would be the reasoning. So. um you know, we might get this Trevor Bryan. We might get Manuel Char. We might get Michael Hunter, which is kind of my leader in the clubhouse. Um, but this isn't Joshua's fault. You know, this isn't Eddie Hearn's fault. Uh, so now to think that they should go do some knee-jerk reaction to please people who have nothing vested in it. 
That would be foolish. That would, you know, that would that would be completely, uh, completely idiotic. So uh, again, I keep saying from a business perspective, man, for, for some stuff that's thrown out here and completely ignores the ramifications on the business side. We obviously have a, you know, a 250, you know, maybe by the time it gets here, $300 million fight in Wilder and Joshua. And now because of some unwritten rule or something, you know, uh, we're going to risk that for a, you know, some 75 or $80 million fight with, um, with, um, with Luis Ortiz. I mean, come on, that would, that would be... That would be foolish. Like, where where would that be acceptable? By professionals, like guys who do this for a living. Like, who who would even do that? So again, um, like I said, I, and, and and some of this stuff is coming from people who didn't even think who had an issue with Miller even having the fight, and 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 didn't and didn't you know didn't like that. So now it's go go make the next unreasonable uh, request. Get out of here with that, man. Like, for real. Get out of here with that. Hey, have a great day. Enjoy the fights this weekend. Um, honestly, I, with this whole Crawford and Khan matchup, I couldn't really get, I can't really get too excited about this fight. But uh, there's a new alternative out there for us. I believe I get into it on the, uh, the podcast uh, with there not being an option to check out this fight at the theater. Something fell through for those of us who don't want to pay that $70, but still want to watch the fight. All right, man. Again, www.leftjaballnightboxing.com. Uh, check that out. It'll probably be out here available for download or to listen to be listened to on wherever you would listen to podcasts, uh, probably in the next four hours. I'm out. Peace.